Have a gentle, quiet spirit. This is what Peter says later on in the same chapter. He says, wives, acquire this spirit that is gentle and quiet, but strong. I want you to be strong. I want you to voice your concerns. You know, often the Holy Spirit speaks through you to get to your husband because your husband has tuned out the Holy Spirit. I want that. I want my wife to speak to me when I get off trail. I want her because sometimes that might be the only voice I'm listening to. But honey, there's a way to do it that motivates me, doesn't hurt me. I want to share a concept with you tonight that I don't think you've ever heard before, ladies. This is specifically for you. I pray it's a message from the Lord, and here it is. Your husband is like Superman, but his kryptonite is your contempt. The way you speak to him, the way you talk to him, the way you package it can make him crumble. I was at a fitness center talking to a guy about marriage, great big bodybuilder. And as he's talking to me about his wife's words and the way she speaks to him, he started to cry. The Superman had this crack in his armor. And I finally figured out why. Like, like, yes, this can go both ways, but let me explain why. And I'll use my own marriage as an example. You see, I can handle criticism from the world. I can handle criticism from coworkers. And even if I come to a church and they don't like what I have to say, I'm not going to love that, but it doesn't crush my soul. But for some reason, what my wife thinks of me and how she speaks to me and the way she lifts me up and the way she sometimes might be critical, it affects me times 10. The way my wife looks at me, her view of me matters more to me than anybody on the planet ever will. And God knows that, ladies. He knows how he built the union of marriage. And so God says, ladies, be careful. Because behind that strong man is a boy who's been wounded, if he's going to be honest. 